Here we are with another installment of Jesus is Lord. We're looking at Psalms 90 to 97. We're bearing this scripture verse in mind from Romans 10:9. The one who confesses with his mouth that Jesus is Lord and believes with his heart that God has raised him from the dead will be saved. Jesus, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust, and say, Return, O children of man. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. For we are brought to an end by your anger, by your wrath we are dismayed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins, in the light of your presence. For all our days pass away under your wrath. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are seventy, or even by reason of strength eighty. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? So teach us to number our days, that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, Jesus. How long? Have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be shown to your servants, and your glorious power to their children. Let the favour of Jesus our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to Jesus, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you've made Jesus your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. It is good to give thanks to Jesus, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Jesus, have made me glad by your work, at the works of your hands I sing for joy. How great are your works, Jesus! Your thoughts, though very deep, the stupid man cannot know, the fool cannot understand this, that though the wicked sprout like grass and all evildoers flourish, they're doomed to de destruction forever. But you, Jesus, you're on high forever, for behold your enemies, Jesus, for behold your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. You've poured over me fresh oil. 
My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of my evil assailants. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They're planted in the house of Jesus. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They're ever full of sap and green to declare that Jesus is upright. He is my rock and there's no unrighteousness in him. Jesus reigns. He is robed in majesty. Jesus is robed. He has put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, Jesus. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. Mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, Jesus on high is mighty. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Jesus, forevermore. Jesus, God of vengeance. O God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth. Repay to the proud what they deserve. Jesus, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exalt? They pour out their arrogant words, all the evildoers boast. They crush your people, Jesus, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the sojourner and murder the fatherless. They say, Jesus doesn't see. The God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, O dullest of the people, fools, when will you be wise? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, does he not rebuke? He who teaches man knowledge, Jesus, knows the thoughts of man, that they are but a breath. Blessed is the man whom you discipline, Jesus, and whom you teach out of your law to give him rest from days of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. For Jesus will not forsake his people. He will not abandon his heritage, for justice will return to the righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked? Who stands up for me against evil doers? If Jesus had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, Jesus, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Can wicked rulers be allied with you, those who frame injustice by statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But Jesus has become my stronghold and my God, the rock of my refuge. He will bring back on them their iniquity and wipe them out from their wickedness. Jesus, our God, will wipe them out. O oh, come, let us sing to Jesus. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise, for Jesus is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. His hands form the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before Jesus our Maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers put me to the test and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. For forty years I loathed that generation and said, they are a people who go astray in their heart, and they've not known my ways. Therefore I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest. O oh, sing to Jesus a new song. Sing to Jesus all the earth. Sing to Jesus 
bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is Jesus, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols. But Jesus made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to Jesus, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to Jesus glory and strength. Ascribe to Jesus the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship Jesus in the splendor of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, Jesus reigns. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar, and all that fills it. Let the field exult, and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before Jesus. For he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness, and the peoples in his faithfulness. Jesus reigns. Let the earth rejoice, let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before Jesus, before Jesus of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. All worshippers of images are put to shame, who make their boast in worthless idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgment, O Jesus. For you, O Jesus, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. O oh, you who love Jesus, hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in Jesus, O oh, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Do you see? Jesus is Lord. The Lord Almighty, the one who was there at the creation of the heavens and the earth because he spoke it into being, because he is the Word. He is God. And the Lord bless the rest of your day. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Perhaps you'll join us next time for the next episode of this series, Jesus is Lord. <laughs>